So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the Rec. 709 decoder LUT to the footage shot in the log format on a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now, just to start off, as we can see here, I'm using a MacBook Air, which is the most basic version. So it's the M4 16 gigabyte. And then if we have a look over here, this has got a capacity of 256 gigabytes, so this is the base version. So let me just get rid of these. Now let me just get into DaVinci Resolve. Now the first thing I will show you here is that this is the base version of DaVinci Resolve, so the free version, and it is the latest version, 19.1.4 Build 11, okay? Now, interestingly, I'm in a 4K project. Well, I was, let me change it. I am now in a 4K project. And as you can see, this is 24 frames per second. Let me save that. And as far as the clip is concerned, as we can see, this is actually an 8K UHD clip and this plays perfectly well in the base m4 macbook air i've actually done a video about editing in 8k on the base m4 macbook air anyway here's the clip here so as we can see it is all washed out so this is something that i'd shot yesterday on my samsung galaxy s25 ultra as part of a vlogging example for another video so what i'm going to do here is to switch over onto the color page i've got the clip here in the color page as we can see then i've got all the LUTs available here which are available in davinci resolve now what you need to do if you can't see the LUTs just come up to the top here and tap on LUTs and all the LUTs will become available now i've tapped on the samsung folder here there are two decoder LUTs one of them is samsung log to linear and the other one is samsung log to rec 709 i'm going to use the rec 709 decoder LUT because as i should have shown you here if i go into color management i am under davinci yrgb for color management and i'm also using timeline and output processing for rec 709 so basically i'm in a rec 709 project here hence why i am going to use the rec 709 decoder LUT. now if we just hover over it first we can see exactly what that LUT will do to the clip and if I just hover over the linear version look at that that's the wrong one to use isn't it okay so what I'm going to do here is to grab all of that LUT there and then I'm just going to drop it onto the clip and then now we've got the clip back to Rec 709 so if I now come back to the timeline what I'm going to do here is to just go full screen and I will play through the video clip Okay, so this example here should give us a really good idea as to how DaVinci Resolve is decoding or transforming the Samsung Log Gamma Setting or Log Gamma Cave to Rec. 709. So what I'm going to do is just walk and talk a little bit. Now I'll just briefly explain what the settings are here. So I'm on fully automatic and the reason why is because I'm going to be turning around and stuff. So of course if I locked off exposure here everything's gonna either blow out loads or go under and only w at one point would it be like basically you know exposed properly so fully auto for the exposure however what i've done is to first of all see what the phone was registering for the white balance and then what i've done is lock the white balance so right now white balance is locked off to 5200 kelvin now i've only done that because that is exactly what the phone was registering so i thought well i'll lock that off and then i'll just like leave everything else on auto as far as the exposure is concerned and of course it's doing uh, auto focus and stuff anyway this short clip here will give us a good idea as to what like you know this transform looks like when davinci resolve takes it from the samsung log gamma and then puts it back to rec 709 Okay, so there we have it then, how to apply the Samsung Log to Rec. 709 Decoder LUT or Transform LUT within the latest version of DaVinci Resolve and this has been the free version. Now, of course, at this point, you could then go further into the actual clip and then start doing some other 
color tweaks and such but this way will get you straight back into the rec 709 color space and as far as i'm concerned this might be the only kind of color adjustment that you may need to do to your samsung galaxy s25 ultra log footage that you've recorded whilst you've been vlogging anyways if you found this video useful insightful or helpful in any way please do give it a thumbs up a sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now